I've made videos in the past cutting on Disney Star Wars and cutting on uh, woke liberal SJW, uh, SJW Disney's open agenda to push homosexuality and LGBT ideology. And, you know, the fact that I've said before that Disney Star Wars is foreign to what Star Wars actually is. Because, you know, a lot of people grew up with Star Wars. I personally, you know, Star Wars was part of my childhood. I, I remember, you know, it was, I liked it a lot as a kid. And seeing Disney ruin it by pulling off stuff like this, yeah, it's kind of uh, rather upsetting. But, hey, what's to be expected from woke liberal SJW Disney obsessed with pushing homosexuality and LGBT ideology? But, in this case, seems that the uh, Star Wars Celebration of 2023 is hosting a drag queen panel. Yeah. Uh, this is on uh, uh, BoundingIntoComics.com. It says, uh, The Walt Disney Company's grooming agenda continues. Star Wars Celebration to feature a panel about drag shows. The Walt Disney Company made it abundant cl abundantly clear the company has a grooming agenda when it opposed a bill in Florida to prevent the teaching of sexual orientation and gender identity from kindergarten through third grade, and that, and that agenda is still in effect as the company approved a panel about drag for the upcoming Star Wars Celebration. Yeah, because the LGBT SJW woke uh, mob, essentially, the uh, lobby, essentially, uh, they wanted to just force their ideology upon everything. You know, every every cartoon that was a part of most, you know, a lot of adults, you know, people who are adults now, a lot of our childhood, they want to insert their ideology into these, into this type of stuff, you know, to make it seem as if it was always there. It's a bunch of garbage, but hey, you know, it's how they are. They have the openly gay agenda. But it says here in the article, uh, Twitter user uh, Ak Act That Gay Jedi, I think is what it says, announced that the Walt Disney Company, Lucasfilm, and Star Wars approved his drag panel star uh, titled Star Wars is a Drag, exploring Star Wars through the art of drag for the upcoming Star Wars Celebration 2023 that is being held in London, England, at the beginning of April. The user wrote, I am humbled and grateful over the uh, forest moons, sorry, over the forest moons, uh, to announce that my Star Wars Celebration panel with Pencil Scratchin and uh, David Sigurani, titled Star Wars is a Drag, uh, exploring Star Wars through the art of drag, has been officially approved. We can't wait to share this with you all. Oh yeah, I bet you can't wait after all, because hey, hey, it's part of your whole grooming agenda to try to enforce, you know, essentially force and enforce acceptance of homosexuality and this kind of stuff, you know? And I, again, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a Star Wars fan per se, you know? I, I mean, it's been, uh, I'm 21 now, and the last time I saw a Star Wars movie in the theaters was, um, I was 14 at the time. Uh, the last time I saw one in the theaters, but you know, Star Wars was part of my childhood, you know, so it does kind of, you know, kind of irks me the wrong way, but still, I mean, it's a bunch of garbage how these, these the uh, SJW woke lobby is just so obsessed with pushing this kind of garbage into stuff that really has nothing to do with it, with their agenda, but hey, should be expected. It says in the article, accompanying this announcement, the user also included a more detailed description of the panel which states, the long and rich history of drag has graced the world with entertainment, culture, political action, and so much more. It is no wonder then that today the art of the art form has reached such a cultural significance that the truth and concepts of drag performance uh, permeate countless aspects of our daily lives, including Star Wars. It continues, some of Star Wars' very best characters embody uh, various core principles of drag, whether it is Din Dar Darjin, I think I say, I say it, drag as personal expression of self-discovery, Asal as Ventress as drag as queer rebellion, or Padme Amidala's, Amidala, I think I say, I say her name, uh, drag as self-empowerment. The, uh, re the uh, relevance of drag even spills out in the pages and screens of Star Wars and flows through the fandom itself through hobbies like cosplay. It includes taking an introductory look at the history and function of drag in our world today. Uh, let's also explore the thematic resonance and influential presence in everyone's favorite far, far away galaxy. Okay, I want to point something out with the thing of some of these female characters supposedly dressing in drag. Okay, there are some scenes, especially with the uh, Padme character, Padme Amidala, I think, I'm pretty sure that's how I say her last name, I can't totally pronounce it properly, but there's times where they'll have decoys that dress, you know, in essentially not wearing a dress, I'll put it that way. So somehow that, somehow these female, a female character not wearing a dress is somehow the same as dressing in drag. What a bunch of garbage, the, the kind of logic that comes out of these people, but hey, you know. Again, what's to be expected from woke liberal SJW Disney? And, you know, the backlash is to be expected. Because, you know, normal you know, normal people who like Star Wars aren't, you know, 
aren't really too fond of this kind of stuff. But hey, you know, they, they won't learn the lesson of the fact that when you go woke, you're going to go broke. So it'll be interesting to see the uh, the uh, outcome of this and any kind of backlash they get. But, you know, it's it's sad how they got to pervert essentially what made a lot of kids childhood. But hey, you know, it's what they do best. So anyway, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.